Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. I hope you had a fabulous weekend. Looking forward to this week, we're seeing gold trading about 1779, 1780 in the early early trade. We expect gold to be solidly finishing above 1800 this week. We want to look at the physical facts about gold and we also to remind you about last Thursday's commentary that increasingly we're going to be talking about gold as a currency. Uh, and you might want to refer back to that particular position. Now, what's happening with gold is that physical supply is growing shorter due to the aging and deteriorating quality of mines in most of the world. The costs of opening up new gold production are becoming more and more expensive. So we're looking for demand, excuse me, for supply to remain fixed to trending down through 2015, 2016, when new mines may be coming into operation. Secondly, we're at that time of year where, in most of the world, demand for gold peaks. And I'm speaking of the Diwali season, the Festival of Lights, the wedding season in India. Uh, I'm speaking of the holiday seasons in Western Europe and here in North America. Now, uh, that means that at a time when supply is declining, demand is increasing. That means the price is going to go up. Lastly, central banks continue to be big buyers of gold. Uh, And what that means is that uh, people are changing, exchanging their weaker currencies for bullion. Uh, Lastly, we'll point out that the leadership at Goldman Sachs, the research department, has declared that this is a time to be long gold bullion. So that's what we are, long gold bullion. So there are Uh, Three economic facts and one analytical fact to uh, add to your pot when you're thinking about why you should buy more gold in through here. Uh, Our view is that gold is not going to be structurally cheaper than it is for the foreseeable future. Lastly, of course, we hate to bring up Europe, but nothing has changed. They have new leadership in Greece and Italy, so we'll see what that leads to. Um, We still need to have parliaments pass austerity budgets. We need to cut those gigantic pensions. Uh, And, uh, you know, again, I mentioned you the other nugget from Greece. Uh, You know, if you're a Greek person and you're 52, you get a $48,000 a year pension. The maximum you can receive in U.S. at Social Security is 28000 And I'm sure that's if you're 96 years old and paid the maximum for 40 years. So, This is Arnie Waters. Look at gold as an opportunity moment. We've also made some really strong fixed income moves. If you want to hear about those, please call me or Al on 781-380-8888. Aim for the ice flows. Look for the trouble spots. That's where the profits are. Keep swinging.